The next time you bite into one of those deadly dried chilies in your Kung Pao chicken, you should know that the pain you're experiencing is a relatively new addition to Chinese food. Before the 1500s, Chinese food was tame. Thai food was downright mild, and Indian food didn't send you diving for the rice. Enter the pepper, a fruit, yes a fruit, that packs a punch. Spicy or not, peppers are packed with nutrients. Today we're going to teach you how to incorporate all kinds of peppers into your diet and why the five alarm peppers actually make you happier. Welcome to Superfoods! Like so many of the foods we eat, peppers are native to Central and South America. Christopher Columbus may have been the first European to burn his lips on a hot pepper. He introduced them to the Europeans in 1494, and Europeans soon introduced them to the rest of the world. Before the 1500s, there were no peppers in Asian, Middle Eastern, or African food. While all peppers are great for you, red and yellow peppers have healthier qualities than their green cousins. Also, hotter peppers have more health benefits than mild. Despite what some people say, hot peppers don't cause ulcers. They actually improve stomach health and are shown to reduce risk of ulcer symptoms by as much as 40% according to the JSCP. Pepper is the only food in the world that naturally contains capsaicin. Capsaicin is the chemical compound that makes these fruits spicy. The amount of capsaicin in a food is measured by Scoville units, named after the American pharmacist Wilbur Scoville, which go from zero, sweet bell peppers, to 16 million, pure capsaicin. Cayenne pepper clocks in around 40,000 SU, habanero around 250,000, pepper spray a cool 2 million. To maximize your pepper's superfood power, go as high as you can on the Scoville scale. Why? Because capsaicin does more than burn your taste buds. A study published by Clinical Science indicated that capsaicin improves nervous system function. Another study by the American Physiological Society showed that capsaicin also helps people lose weight by increasing metabolism by up to 3%. Peppers are extremely high in vitamin C, which benefits everything from the immune system to the teeth. One red bell pepper has over 200% of your daily recommended value. Peppers are also rich in vitamin A, which promotes eye and muscle health. Let's compare a moderately hot pepper, the red jalapeno, to another vitamin C rich food, the navel orange. Both are delicious, healthy, and colorful, but peppers pack more nutritional punch. Peppers are also chock full of antioxidants, those handy little molecules that help reduce blood pressure and even prevent certain cancers. With so many benefits, how can you not love peppers? You might not be able to help it. Eating hot peppers causes the body to produce endorphins, which trick you into feeling exhilarated and even in love. So, even if you don't love hot peppers, they may have you believing you do. When you're at the grocery store or the farmer's market, it's hard to know what peppers to pick, especially because you can't tell quite how spicy a pepper is until you bite into it. A good rule of thumb is that the smaller and narrower the pepper, the hotter it'll be. If you're afraid of getting too much heat, go big. You should always look for a fruit with smooth skin, without cracks, wrinkles, or soft spots. Some more irregularly shaped peppers grow mold in their nooks and crannies, so make sure that you check everywhere for signs of molding or browning. Remember that red, yellow, and green peppers all grow on the same plant. Red and yellow peppers will have a higher sugar content than green since green peppers are just unripe. They also contain less vitamin C. If you can't find any good red peppers, buy a green one. It'll ripen at room temperature in three to five days. Capsaicin is not water soluble, so you'll just spread it around. Here are some tips and tricks. Do you need to peel your pepper? Roast it first. Broil or grill a pepper for 10 minutes, charring all sides. Put it in a plastic bag for 15 minutes. The skin will just peel off. Peppers can be frozen for up to six months. To prepare, dice the pepper, remove the membrane and seeds, and place them in a plastic bag. 